A man who spent seven years in jail on drug charges will get a new trial. A judge in Somerset County threw out all 18 of Isaac Wright's convictions, claiming Wright never received a fair trial. News 12 New Jersey's Adam Freed is in our newsroom with the latest on Isaac Wright and the apparent miscarriage of justice that put him behind bars. Adam? You know, Lee, Isaac Wright may have been a drug dealer, as prosecutors and police claimed, but one thing is certain, he wasn't dealt a fair trial. A judge said today that the man who prosecuted Wright made illegal deals with defense attorneys, and now Isaac Wright will have one more chance to plead his case before a jury. What? What? The news was good, but not good enough for Isaac Wright's mother and friends. They don't have enough evidence to go back to a retrial. And basically, she'll just release him today and let this man get on with his life. Isaac Wright has appealed his case again and again. Now, the court agreed he did not get a fair trial. The judge referred to the behavior of the prosecutor as a distinct pattern of disinformation. The judge threw out this conviction for two reasons, because he said police had seized some of the key evidence illegally, and because the prosecutor had made secret and illegal deals with one of the defense attorneys. This was the testimony that opened Pandora's box, a co-defendant who testified against Wright. Basically, he didn't want to go to jail. So he told me what to say in order to, to you know, not go to jail. She didn't. Isaac Wright got a life sentence. What turned this case was that the prosecutor, Nicholas Bissell, knew the witness was lying under oath during the original trial. The judge today called that an offensive deception of the judge and jurors. The original prosecutor, Bissell, is already on his way to jail, convicted of a variety of crimes. Now the new prosecutor will have to decide if the pursuit of justice means filing more charges against the man she has just replaced. The prosecutor says that she is going to retry Isaac Wright on all 18 counts of the original indictment. His bail was set today at $500,000, and the new trial is scheduled to begin in January. Lee? Adam, was that particular prosecutor making uh, other mistakes and other secret deals and other trials? A lot of people are wondering that. It is certainly possible. There were a number of people in the courtroom today who had been convicted and served jail time in, from trials that uh, Nicholas Bissell was the prosecutor in, and they were saying that because Isaac Wright got a new trial, they may appeal the decisions that were rendered against them as well. Thank you to Adam Freed for that report from our newsroom. A man put behind bars by former prosecutor Nicholas Bissell is free. Isaac Wright has been in jail for more than seven years. He was convicted on a number of drug charges, including one that accused him of being a drug kingpin. For years, he claimed he didn't get a fair trial. In October, he convinced a judge, and today he was released on a quarter of a million dollars bail. News 12 New Jersey Cynthia Scott tells us that Wright may be a free man, but he's not quite out of the water yet. Isaac Wright was supposed to spend the rest of his life behind bars, but he left the Somerset County Jail taking with him all the work that helped get him out. Wright calls this day bittersweet. Bitter because it's seven years coming and sweet because it's the first step in liberty. Former Somerset County Prosecutor Nicholas Bissell, who killed himself to avoid jail time, was responsible for sending Wright to jail. Supporters of Wright, who helped post his bail, say Bissell wanted to be the first prosecutor in the state to convict someone under the drug kingpin statute. They say he broke the law to get his conviction. There were a lot of problems with the case, uh, basically just corruption in the prosecutor's office, which now is being investigated. Wright convinced the judge of that after years of preparation and weeks of testimony from people who said they were forced to lie. In October, his charges were reversed and Wright was granted a new trial. He was overwhelmed with, with so many things that um, he knew that it was something, the new trial was something that had to happen in the interest of justice. It had to happen. But Wright may not be a free man forever. His trial that was scheduled on January 2nd was postponed until the state conducts its own investigation. Now, prosecutors say they will retry him, but some say they can't see how. I can't wait to see their trial. I think that they're looking for a soft place to land. I don't think there really will be a retrial. And if there is, I don't think there's any possibility of a conviction. I'm confident that, you know, in a, in a subsequent trial that I'll be acquitted. As for his own civil trial against the county, Wright wouldn't reveal his plans, but he says he wishes this day was the final chapter. In Somerset County, Cynthia Scott, News 12, New Jersey. Isaac Wright wouldn't tell us where he'll be living, but he says he will remain here in New Jersey.